Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to scan your documents using your Android phone. To scan a document using an Android phone, we are going to use Google Drive because some third-party apps are not free. The Google Drive application is available in all Android phones. If you don't have this application in your phone, go to Google Play Store and just install it. Look for Drive. and just install it from there so once the application is installed you just open it press the plus sign you will see new it's this option right here press new to start then press scan now you just grab your phone and scan your document so i'm just gonna scan this calendar so i got my document scanned so once you have scanned your document you just press done you will see two options do you want to save this document as a, a picture format or as a pdf the standard format for documents is PDF, so just select PDF, then save. So once you press save, the document will be saved in your Google Drive application. So now to find your document, you just go to search in Drive. Recent. It's the last one that was scanned today. You will see today, yesterday, older. These are all my older files. It's this one right here. Just open it. Once the document is open, you just tap the three dots. So what are you going to do? Where are you going to save this document? Do you want to share it with the other people? Or you just want to copy the link for the document? Or make a copy, send the copy to someone, open with an application, or you want to download it to your phone you have other options so what I'm gonna do for now I'm just gonna send a copy press send a copy if once you press send a copy you will see these applications here you can forward your document to one of these apps and you can share it with OneDrive you can send it by messenger you can send a text message you can send it to your PC, to your, to your computer. You need a data, data transfer cable to transfer the document from your phone to your computer. You can also send an email to your Gmail account. You can share the document with other devices like an iPhone, iPad, a tab, another Android phone, any device that has the Bluetooth. You can also send it to files in your phone you can send it to quick share if you press more you will be able to see your whatsapp application you can share it with your contacts in whatsapp application or other apps for now i'm gonna save this document i'm gonna send it to my files in my phone it's now saved in my phone one file saved to download once you connect your phone to your computer, you will find it in the downloads folder. This is the document. I'm going to go back to files in my phone. Look for files or file manager. It depends on your phone model. Open files. This is the document. Open it. Tap the three dots. Now I'm going to move this document to my usb pin drive that i'm going to connect to my phone i also have a, a micro sd card in my device copy to or move to you will see these three options so i have a memory card in my phone so i just press sd card copy here you can choose the folder i'm gonna save it to DCIM, copy here in my folder, perfect. 
so I, I have just saved my document in my micro SD card so I'm gonna do the same thing for the USB pin drive press the three dots copy two and then send it to your USB pin drive copy here you can choose a folder now let's go to the CIM copy here my document is now saved in four locations in my USB pin drive in a micro SD card in my phone and in Google Drive so that's it for today that's what I wanted to share with you please subscribe if it's the first time you're watching my videos and see you in the next one